Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Tour Design Academy. In this video, we will discuss about ETAPS modeling. So, we will be modeling a diagrid structure and performing response spectrum analysis. So, watch the video till the end. So, like this, I will be bringing out latest videos on internship and job updates as well. So, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel to stay updated. Yeah, define material property, add new material. So we'll be going with India concrete and Indian standard M40 grade concrete. Okay. And next add new material. This will be going M35 for beams and columns. Okay, next add new material. We'll go with three bar, three bar 550 grade. Okay, next add new material, we will go with steel for the diagram. So steel, Indian, we have two options, 250 or 3, we will go with 355, 45. So, okay. okay. Now define section properties, frame sections. We have to define the sections now. Right. So, first add new property, so rectangular. beam we will be designing a beam first so we will be taking 450 by 600 mm right so and this is m35 grade depth of the beam 600 this is 450 so considering the properties, personal property is 0 0.001 and we have point of measure 0.35 for beam and about 3 third axis it's 0.35 okay and reinforcement which should be beam 550 550 so cover we can check that out okay, check that okay right now we can delete these properties. Okay, and now we have to define column, add new property. Wait, this is C. Let's go. We'll go with 750 mm by 750 mm columns. So we can increase the size to 900 by 900. Same M35 grade. This is 900, and this is also 900. When we come here, property modifiers. So first and constant, it will be one. Whereas this will be 0 0.7. And 0 0.7 so both of these things will change okay and reinforcement should be column grade concrete grade right okay fine I think we are analyzing it so no need to change the reinforcement details we are just doing the analysis part okay so our beams and columns are defined okay now we have to define structural wall wall section so this we can add a new wall structural wall property okay here we'll take m40 and here shell thin but here we have to change the modifiers since it's going to be a structural wall shear wall so here bending will be changing bending in three seven in all the three directions it will change and shear and everything else will remain same and we'll take the thickness as 250 mm right 250 mm thick shear wall we can mention here 250 mm okay and we can delete this property okay and we have to define slab now section property slab sections at 
ठीक है so add new property slab will be taking 150 mm so slab m35 oh this is shell thin and this is slab so this thickness is 150 mm okay and here property in property modifiers we have to assign three properties so properties here will be in bending it will have this one 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 0 0.25 so these three modifiers right okay you can delete this save right one second we have to just check for wall sections what did we provide so it is m40 okay okay so now we have defined all the members now what we have to do is this is so so we have to first define the structural wall where it will be there so first let us draw columns where all our columns will be so in we are in the plan and quick draw Columns will be taking column. Column size 900 by 900. Okay. So we will go to four. So at every joint we will be having the column. So we will be placing that. See that while placing it should be on the grid. You can see it's this column. So make sure that you are placing it at the grid. So as you can see, I am trying to place all the columns on the grids. So it should be exactly on the grid point. Then only it would be very exactly placed and analysis will be accurate. We have to place score structural wall as well at the center. We will place that once we finish placing columns.
there are a few columns which are to be placed. So that's it. So these are all our columns placed successfully. Yeah. So now we have to place our walls. Right. So we have to place walls. We have only one wall. So we'll be placing our wall in the center. So it will be starting. So now we have to remove these columns which we have placed. So if we would have placed the columns correctly in the second position, we have not required this to be removed. Which will remove full. We place it again. So this grids are at a distance of 4 by 4 meters. So now our structural wall is also placed. Now we have to place our flows. First we have to place beams, sorry. First we will place the beams. So beams are already there, ready to be placed. We just place them. This is elliptical plan. So I will just to ease the work, I will delete this and I will work on single fix. the beams are placed just we have to check that they are not double placed right so if you want to see you can check the sections define object next we can see the sections so by mistake they are also placed over here and remove it. Yeah. So all our beams are removed. Yeah. So these all are in single doses. So beams are placed and columns are also placed. Now assigning flows. So flows we can directly draw flows. We have only one or we have not clicked that slab. Right? So now so it is So we will be placing it in order.
so now see here everyone we have to make this in an elliptical order here you can see so first let us all the slabs get placed Right. See here, we have to take this. So how we can take this? Here we have grid, right? So here, these two objects are not near. So what we have to do is we have to join them. Sorry. 